sleepy head. Good morning. Can you see your rainbow blankie? Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. It's about 8.30 a.m. and I just finished my coffee and I was just working in this little like A6 planner that I got as you guys saw in that clip. So I know someone's gonna ask me. I am still using my digital planner, of course, but that is just specifically for like business stuff. I just wanted to kind of separate like personal life from business life. So that's the reason I have that little A6 planner, but it's so cute because it has like glitter all over it. I got it off Amazon and I don't want to like recommend it yet because I haven't used it for long enough. I will say it's very small and I don't want to recommend it for that reason because that's one of the things that kind of turns me off about it. But anyways, today is going to be a nice productive day. The first thing I need to do is go get my butt in the shower. Dude, my hair is literally so dirty, you guys. I have been honestly like hitting records for how long I've been able to go without washing my hair which is really good because I'm trying so hard to grow it out. I cut it short and I loved it short and I kept it that way for a little while but as you guys can see it's it's definitely getting longer but I swear even though it doesn't look super dirty if you could feel this right now it's like so greasy like especially if I were to zoom you in right now. Woo! Looks like I haven't washed my hair in a week so let's go take a shower. In the background I have stuff everywhere but I just finished getting ready and I actually took the time to blow dry my hair and use the brush so that it blow dried nicely and it looks like I straightened it so I love that I had to put a little oil in it to like make the frizz calm down but it's kind of nice to basically if I take my time blow drying I don't have to use another heat tool afterwards to style it um, but I just want to show you guys what I'm wearing I don't know if I'm going to keep this on all day but I wanted to film some Instagram reels or TikToks for the boutique and so I wanted to plan out a couple of outfits and this is one of them this is a matching two-piece set that is just so cute it's like a smocked top and you tie it right here and then it has these high-waisted shorts that do have pockets and it's just such a cute little matching set so that's what I have on right now. Okay, so once you guys see this vlog, the news about the big change with my boutique will already be live. So you guys already know about it at this point. I changed my boutique name from Sun Bunny to Sun Styled and I completely rebranded and it was so much work and such a process, but I have really big plans for the new name and I'll talk more about it in its own separate video, but I was just about to tell you guys that I'm sitting here planning out everything I want to say in this video. I just decided to make it its own video and talk about the announcement, why I changed my name, and then I'm announcing a very exciting giveaway that I am doing just to kind of like celebrate the rebranding and the opening of this new name for the boutique. So I'm just pumped, honestly. So I'm about to sit down and film that video. Just finished filming the announcement video, just telling you guys about the name change for the boutique and all of that. So that's up. You can go watch it if you want. I know I've shown you guys him doing this weird stuff before, but <laughs> he does this all on his own. In fact, a second ago, it was covering his eyes. This is how he prefers it. And then he just looks at us through the curtain and he just sits there. Like it's his way of asking for attention. <laughs> yes. 
and Chad and I always joke that he asks us if he's a pretty bride. Guess where we're going? My favorite place in the world. Tell him, Chad. Target and Starbucks. Oh, I was just gonna go to the Starbucks and the Target. So we're going to Target because I need to get some transfer paper for my Cricut because I'm working on a little Cricut project and all I have is strong grip transfer paper and it makes my life so difficult when I'm transferring vinyl with a strong grip because I'm putting it on like surfaces like wood and stuff like that and it just doesn't freaking come off. Like the vinyl doesn't come off of the transfer tape because I'm using strong grip. So I did my research last night and I need to get regular transfer tape. So that's why we're going to Target. I'm check out the dollar section too. That's what I always do when they never catch me. And ain't nobody ever gone catch me. Why, because you're too streetwise? Yup. We just checked the dollar spot and there was nothing there. And I'm so annoyed because I follow some like Target Instagram accounts and they always post all the cute stuff they find at Target. And they had like all of this really cute like boho, like baskets and wooden decor stuff you could paint for little projects and I was really, really excited to get some of that stuff because I want to use it to make little Cricut projects with my new branding on it. But there's nothing at my Target, of course. Wait, we might've just passed it. Yes, we did. It's down here. I think this is the last one and it's literally the exact color that I need. This is the sun styled color, tart grapefruit. I'm back home now and I put my glasses on because my eyes hate me and for whatever reason I can't seem to go a whole day with contact lenses in because my eyes just get so dry. I just made myself an iced tea and it is so good. I forgot how much I enjoy drinking tea. I just got like a jug of the Tazo black tea. It's lightly sweetened and then I just squeezed a fresh lemon in it. Oh, so refreshing. And I had the opportunity to go to Starbucks on our way out of Target and I was like, you know what? We're going straight home. Let me just make myself an afternoon drink at home and save money. Please recognize my progress here. Like I literally only went to Starbucks one time this week, which is just crazy. I'm so proud. Anyways, while I was at Target, I got this paint, which I showed you guys. And then of course I got the regular transfer tape, not the strong grip. This is gonna work so much better. And then I got some of these little foam paint brushes because I'm gonna use these to paint with this Cricut thing. So I feel like I just came up with a really brilliant idea, which I'm sure already exists and I just didn't realize it, but I basically used my Cricut Explore because this is a much bigger design than what the Cricut Joy can do. So this is from my Explore, which I have down there on the ground, of course. What I did when I was weeding, instead of peeling the vinyl back, leaving the letters and then transferring it over, I peeled the letters off and then I'm gonna stick this whole thing to the white side of this wooden board and I'm going to paint over it in pink and kind of use it as a stencil. So I thought that would be so cute. And this is double-sided. So on the other side, I'm gonna do traditional vinyl with the logo and transfer it over on this side. So that is what I'm working on. Fun little project. And then after that, if I'm still in the mood and I'm feeling crafty, I might do an iron-on vinyl for my pink tote bag with the sun-styled vinyl as well. it it's definitely not perfect as you guys can see I had to clean it up quite a bit because the vinyl didn't stick very well and so the paint kind of got everywhere but that's also probably because I wasn't patient like taking my time I'm terrible at things that are like really meticulous um, so like you know it's a little messed up in some spots but I feel like that almost adds to it like it makes it look homemade so I kind of like it especially because it's like on wood and you can tell it's painted so I feel like it's meant to not look perfect because it's painted so I put it over here I'm probably gonna end up moving it I just I first I put it on the white wall but then I was like it looks like it didn't look that good because it's white but I'm just letting it sit up here to dry but maybe when I do this side um, I can hang that side instead, but I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. But either way, I have to let this dry first. Also, by the way, peep the balloons from my little sun styled photo shoot. And I took those pictures for the announcement. I just like hung them up in here until they start to deflate and then I'll take them down. 
but I couldn't throw them away. They're so cute. Tonight's dinner is Mexican street tacos from Costco. This is actually the easiest meal ever. That's why we got it. It has cheese, lettuce, limes, corn tortillas. Oh, you heated these ones up? Awesome. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Yay for not having to really cook. Chad's cutting up my watermelon for me and I'm so excited we got this. Literally last week and it's been sitting on the counter. I've been wanting it so bad, but I didn't cut it up. So now Chad's cutting it up. And it's so yummy. I already had a piece. It's very sweet. I love watermelon. I could literally eat it every day for the rest of my life. Never get to and I are about to watch this limited series on Netflix called This is a Robbery, the world's biggest art heist. I don't know, it's on Netflix top 10. It's number three right now. So it must be pretty popular. So I'll let you guys know what I think of it, but I am gonna end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.